Hello, this is Loopline, and in this video I want to cover the theory of how to use the vanity name checker to create some great properties. So a lot of the videos that I make are actually how-to videos which are more functional, like this is what you do, step one, step two, step three, because this is how Scrapebox works. This video is more theory and this is how you can use Scrapebox to create an end result that you might want to create a concept of how you can use it to actually work for uh, SEO or content creation or that sort of thing. So a little bit different. Uh, this is centered around the new vanity name checker add-on. So what a, a lot of people would do with the vanity name checker might go down one of two paths. There are obviously more, uh, but there's a couple of major paths. The first, if you haven't watched the vanity name checker on how it functions, I have another video on that. So check that out. Um, but I have it running here in the background. The first might be if I had a brand, let's call it Blue Widgets Incorporated, I would type in my keywords over here, uh, such as Blue Widgets Incorporated, Blue Widgets, Blue and Widgets, and then I would tick off all the platforms, which is like WordPress.com, Weebly.com, um, and, and so on. There's you know a dozen of them or so in there, which I'll show you here in a moment. Uh, again, they're listed out in your add-on. And I would go through there and I would let the Scrapebox vanity name checker go out and see if any of those keywords are there. So that say I could get bluewidgetsincorporated.weebly.com or bluewidgetsincorporated.wordpress.com or bluewidgetsincorporated.tumblr.com. So I have my keyword in the domain name there. And though most of the properties operate, if not all of them, um, operate with subdomains. As you can see here, for instance, this is blackcreekfarms.weebly.com that you just see here um, in the background. And the engines see subdomains as just like a regular domain. So bluewidgetsincorporated.weebly.com is just as good as far as a unique domain name goes, more or less, as bluewidgetsincorporated.com. So it's a great way to get a unique property that has your branded name or your keyword that you're going after in the actual URL and then you can post relevant content on it and that sort of thing and basically the vanity name checker is going to check to see if that's available such as this one right here black-dragons-clan.weebly.com is available so I could right click on that um, and then open that in a browser and go register it or I can of course export that and go register that so that might be one path um, now let's say you wanted to get a hold of some good properties that maybe already had some backlinks to them or maybe already had um, some page rank even and what happens is if someone goes out and registers a um, one of these subdomains and then say a year down the road after they've got some links in maybe some page rank they go ahead and delete it or it just gets auto deleted for whatever reason then it, it is available to register again and so what the add-on is doing to check to see if those are available. So what you could actually do is go back over here to Scrapebox and make a set of footprints. Now you can use the merge function, which again, if you don't know how to do that, um, scrapeboxfact.com, I have a tutorial on there. Uh, and in several videos, I'm not gonna go over it in this video, but to use the merge function um, and make a footprint for each one of the uh, platforms that are supported here in the vanity name checker I'm just gonna work with Weebly for the sake of this video which I just did site.weebly.com or site colon weebly.com here in the footprint and then I just have a thousand keywords that I loaded in here um, just you know common everyday words so then I popped in some proxies ticked off uh, Yahoo and Google and I harvested uh, 36,000 URLs but one thing I did do was I used the time span and I made them within the past year now you could play around with the different time spans here uh, and see if they work um, or you could also just leave it on any time all those are gonna net results at the end of the day um, but as you play around with different ones you might find that one works better than the other especially for any niches that you're going after and that sort of thing so uh, then I went ahead and trim them to root and remove duplicate domains um, you d probably don't have to trim them to root I haven't even tried it in the add-on to see if you don't need to but it it's irrelevant if there's an inner page or not so um, I just went ahead and did that. Uh, but you definitely want to remove duplicate domains because if you get a bunch of inner pages from these, you might have you know 90,000 or 150,000 URLs and only 34,000 domains. And since you're checking on the domain to see if it's available, remove duplicate domains. Then you're going to go over here and load them in. Uh, and then you there's two options when you check tick this off or click this rather uh, you can load in keywords, which is what I was talking about earlier when you put in your brand mentions, or you can load in URLs. 
when you load in URLs, usually it'll tick this URL box off. You can see the URLs I have loaded here. Uh, if not, go ahead and check that. And then obviously you want to use some proxies and go ahead and um, hit start and away you go. Now basically what this is doing, it's been running for a while here, uh, but I only have it set to five connections. That's why I've let it run and it's obviously still running. It's only made it, you know, down through about uh, 7,000 of the 36,000 I got loaded in there. Uh, but that should be enough for the purpose of this video. So I'm going to go ahead and stop that. And then what I'm going to do here is go to export and export the ones that are available. And I'm just going to click here and save it as available. And then I'm going to go ahead and go back to my main scrape box window, clear this out and bring in that available list uh, and 124 available. So the first thing I would do is just, I'm going to go ahead and check URL page link and uh, just see what I get. Uh, you may have some, may not. Uh, I have found ones. In fact, I found one today that is a page rank three just when I was messing around testing. That so happens to be that. And look, here is a uh, page rank two and a page rank one. Let me get a browser set up here so we can open them. And so we can right click on this one and uh, open in a default browser and we can see site not published. If you're the owner of the site, you can fix this message by publishing your site to this address. So you just go to weebly.com and try to register. It looks like angellightacademy.weebly.com. Uh, same thing over here with the uh, burdc.weebly.com. Um, I'm sure these will be taken by the time you watch this video. Uh, I don't intend to personally register them, but um, I'm sure somebody will. And so that is one method you could do. Grab some, uh, there is a PageRank 2 and a PageRank 1. And I won't say that um, you're going to go out there and find uh, 5,000 PageRank 5 pages that are ready to go, register them, throw some content on them, throw some links on them, and all of a sudden you have these awesome incoming links off of PageRank 5 links. It's not going to happen. And so I have found uh, PageRank 1, PageRank 2, PageRank 3, uh, and just in testing here. Um, Vanity Name Checker hasn't been out that long, and I haven't really dove into this a lot. I've been kind of busy. And so um, here's some that we found just in testing, a couple of them there. And uh, I could take this now, register the uh, BURDC one and the Angel uh, Light Academy one, and uh, then go ahead and get some content. Uh, I could probably see if I could go look up look up the content that used to be on there, maybe through um, archive.org. They may or may not have it, but if it has PR, they might. Um, and I could actually copy some of that content and then just sneak in some of my links, or maybe I would go get a relevant article that is relevant to my particular niche and go ahead and then put some in content links in there. And then uh, this is a page rank two domain, you know, and boom, this has just been, uh, this video is about eight minutes so far into it. And, um, you know, I did a little bit of work before the video started, but for a few minutes worth of work, here we have a ready to go, register it for free, don't even have to pay registration, don't have to pay hosting, nothing, register it. Um, and if you have the Scrapebox article scraper uh, plugin, you can grab a premium plugin, then you can grab the um, some articles and put up some content and go ahead and insert some links and then you could spin that. Uh, there is a free add-on in Scrapebox that will scrape the articles but it won't spin it. The uh, article scraper plugin is totally worth, uh, I think it's like 20 bucks, it's totally worth it because um, then you can spend content and do all kinds of other stuff. But um, you could grab that and then use that to get your content to put up there and um, away you go, stick in some in content links and boom, you just got a page rank two link and a page rank one link. And I've seen page rank three and that sort of thing. And I'm sure there are probably others out there. I wouldn't anticipate there's loads of page rank four or page rank five, but that they could definitely exist. Um, and so you just do this in mass and then uh, keep going and then register the ones you want. Another thing you can do uh, seemingly is go ahead and use the, uh, the backlink checker add-on. So the backlink checker add-on is going to bring up um, the it's the Moz powered backlink checker add-on and I have a separate video on this but we could load in the list of URLs uh, and I don't have my proxies set up correctly in here these are all dead um, because I haven't used this since those proxies rolled but otherwise I'd show you but basically what you do is you load in the list from uh, say Scrapebox Harvester here bring in our 124 and then we're just gonna hit start and it's gonna go out and find the backlinks and uh, the Angel Light Academy apparently has two backlinks that Moz knows of uh, Moz doesn't have the world's greatest scope, but they're decent. Um, and then as we get on through here, if you had this all set up, you could pull all the backlinks. You may find some that have page rank zero or page rank not applicable, which have been registered since the last page rank update that have tons of links. But inside a scrape box here is a great tool 
Um, you could also perhaps use, let me just stop this and get out of it. Um, some other things I could think that you could use would be the um, perhaps the page authority add-on, uh, which would check the pages to see uh, the page authority, the Moz rank, and that sort of thing. So that could be a great way to qualify some of these pages. And then also even perhaps the uh, Alexa rank checker app. Um, a lot of people go by Alexa rank, and so this uh, Alexa rank checker add-on will do that. And so there is a lot of ways that you could qualify pages to get you know some really great stuff. I mean, this some of these pages that are NA here may have been registered, got tons of viral links. They could have went viral all over social media, uh, and then it could have just died, and they could have decided to uh, go ahead and delete them. And you might be setting on tons of links, so don't go just by page rank. You know, check out the page authority add-on and check out the backlinks and uh, all that sort of stuff. And you can uh, possibly find some really great links that are really great domains that you can register that already have a ton of link juice coming into them, and then you can point that right at your sites, ready to go. I mean, it really doesn't get any easier than that. Uh, and uh, Scrapebox, this add-on is free. I was actually a little surprised that they didn't make it a premium plugin um, because this is really powerful stuff. Uh, in fact, I saw a program that does this and not as good of a job from the reviews I read, and um, it costs a hundred bucks. You know, it costs more than the entire price of Scrapebox, and I'm not really selling Scrapebox here. I, I don't think anybody needs to know that I have like 80 Scrapebox videos. I like Scrapebox, uh, but you can see the value. Um, very clearly. So that is how you can use a different theory and a couple of different directions to use the Scrapebox page scanner add-on to really get some great sites. Uh, register those and oh let me show you the uh, the last thing here that was just Weebly. Now bear in mind we can do Tumblr, WordPress, YouTube, Blogspot, LiveJournal, Twitter, Pinterest, Flickr, Wikidot, and Overblog at the time of this video. Of course they could add more of these at any time or maybe they'll just stick with these I don't know but um, if we found those just within the Weebly then you run through all of these make all your footprints uh, in Scrapebox and run through them all and away you go. And one last little tip for making your footprints, if you wanted to just put um, test right here and then tick off all of these things and undo the URLs and hit start, you can see that they are, let's see, looks like most of these register as subdomains. So I can make a footprint for Tumblr here. You can see for YouTube, I need to alter my footprint a little bit. Also for Twitter uh, and then Pinterest and Flickr, my keywords are stuck on the end, but the rest of them are stuck as subdomains. So that gives you right away um, your availability there. And I'm really surprised that uh, Pinterest and Overblog have tests available uh, of all the things. So there you have it. Um, there is tons out there to be had, and that is how you can really use the vanity name checker to do great things.